Hey, we're doing a food review for what is it? China, China Kitchen, Asian Kitchen, Asian Kitchen. Um, <clears throat> we've seen this place over here forever. I mean, it's been here for years in Durham, North Carolina, on um, Fifty Four, and what's the name of this? It's Seven Fifty One, but it has uh, it actually has a street name. Um, but um. I'm putting videos and pictures in. What did Keisha? What'd you get? Um, the bean jelly noodles. That was an appetizer, and that was pretty good. What it tastes like though? I mean, the noodles didn't really have a taste, but the sauce that was different. I mean, it's hard for me to tell. Say what it tastes like. Oh, okay. It tastes. It, it tastes like oily with a little spice or something to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and the jelly, like it really was jell like gelatin. Yeah, and it was cold, so that was kind of a surprise. But it was good though. Okay. Um, the dumplings. What we um. It was beef, beef and onion. Beef and onion. Yeah. <clears throat> How'd you like that? Uh, those are pretty good. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so this place, um, they make their own noodles and dumplings. So anything, anything that will require like flour, they uh, they make themselves and they they make it in front of you, like when you first walk in, um, so you can kind of see the method. Um, when we went in there, it was a lot of Asian people um, being served, um, which is always a good thing for me. <clears throat> you know, if you go to a you go to a restaurant and um, those people, you go to an Indian restaurant and Indian people are eating. You go to an Asian place, Asian people are eating there. Then uh, you pretty much can guarantee it's it's authentic uh, that they're willing to sit there and eat, uh, or you know that's the place to go for their culture um so that's that's a thing that's a big thing, thing about <clears throat> this place is the noodles so that's what you're going for you're going for the noodles because they're handmade noodles um to me everything tasted a little fresher i, I don't know how to ex describe it but like all the sauces and the vegetables and peppers taste um Taste fresh. I got well. Let me. I'll address the the dumplings. Um, the dumplings had like minced beef in it, and and like scallions, and it's just enough meat to where it's good, but not too much. And I think sometimes dumplings can either be like super meaty or Perhaps they put other ingredients in it to make it less, you know, uh, I guess, I don't want to say less meaty, but uh, less dense. These, the meat was dense, but it wasn't like having a whole big meatball in it. And, you know, I think people can overdo that sometimes if it's too much meat and it's dense. But they had just kind of the a, a perfect amount of um, and to be honest with you, I would have eaten those by themselves. Um, they really were good, and I'm not, I'm not that a big dumpling person. Um, I got three, about three, three pepper chicken, which is, it's like chicken that's f deep fried, like in panko or something, and then they have uh, a lot of peppers that are finely cut up. Like roasted peppers so you have these like red peppers in there um, it tasted like there was some sort of vegetable that tastes like mint it could be mint could be something else I don't know but it has like a, a mint flavor to it um, and jalapenos it cut up jalapenos in it. Um, it it was a lot of food and so if you're like if you're a family of two three four 
it, that's this is the kind of place like you you'd come. I mean, it's um, they serve like let's let's pretend you get kung pao chicken. You're gonna get a plate full of kung pao chicken, like you know, like a pound of 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 meat and vegetables and sauce and all that, and a side of noodles. And so it's kind of family oriented. Um, and so that's what I would suggest, you know, cause the portion sizes are way too big. It's obvious that they're, they're meant to be shared. Uh, anything else you, mm -mm. that's it. <laughs> All right.